surrounding the hype over China's successful implementation of satellite-based quantum key distribution using the Misha satellite, we address the question of what does the term trusted relay mean and what does an entanglement upgrade do? And we will address these questions in order. In Dr. Pine's 2017 paper, Satellite Relayed Intercontinental Quantum Network, Dr. Penn says that in the process of quantum key distribution, Misha's access a trusted relay upon request from the ground command, performing bitwise exclusive or operations between the two keys and relay the results to one of the ground stations. And here is Misha's role in the whole process of distributing keys to the ground. Here is a simplified optical layout of the MISIUS transmitter and on-Earth receiver. The idea is that MISIUS can randomly fire one of these four laser diodes, encoding ones and zeros in either basis. Suppose laser diode one is fired. It goes through a polarizing, a horizontal polarizer, a polarizing beam splitter, and then a halfway plate which has a 22.5 degree pol uh, angle with respect to the x-axis, turning this horizontal polarization state to a plus 45 degree polarization state along the x and plus z direction. If this photon reflects at the non-polarizing beam splitter, it go through, it'll go through a attenuator and then it travels into space. And then here on the receiver end, it has a 50% chance of going up or going to the right. If it goes up, it's in the correct uh, plus and minus 45 degree state. Suppose it goes up, okay? And then it will go through this polarizing beam splitter, which is rotated along the Z axis at 45 degree angle. That means that the in-plane component, which will, uh, which will uh, transmit is the a minus 45 degree state along the plus x and minus uh, minus z direction and then it, and then the plus 45 degree state will reflect and being detected here at detector 2 so to wrap up if a uh, laser diode 1 is fired and if it and on the receiver and if it goes up to the correct basis it will be 100% detected at the laser uh, at the detector 2 now let's consider a hypothetical case if there's an eavesdropper, not between the transmitter and receiver, but directly on the transmitter. In that case, the eavesdropper will have complete control over which bits and in which bases the information is sent out. And then the whole point of quantum key distribution is invalid because the eavesdropper will now, know, will now be the one sending out the information. So instead of building quantum relays, which is still hindered by the limitation of quantum storage time and the potential threat of a compromised satellite, we have another approach, that is satellite-based entanglement distribution. From Dr. Pan's paper, satellite-based entanglement distribution over 1,200 kilometers, we can find that instead of using MISIA satellite as a trust relay, we can use it to generate entangled photons using this layout. So in this figure, the DM means dichromatic mirror, which can, in this case, transmit light at 405 nanometers and reflects light at 810 nanometers. The PPKTP is a kind of biofringed material which can produce non-converted entangled photon pairs. And we assume that this PBS here transmits light at H state and reflects light at V state. So as we can see, the 405 nanometers light first come out of the photon laser, and after it go when it goes through the DM1, we we assume that it has a state of plus or minus 45 degrees. Uh, at the PBS, in, we first look at the V case. So the V state from the minus or four, mi plus or minus 45 degrees. It's reflected by the PBS and it goes through the half wave plate, which is placed at uh, 67.5 degrees. After the half wave plate, the V polarized light will become plus 45 degrees polarized light. And then, after 
this light goes through the PBKTP. It will be then converted to entangled photon pairs at 810 mm and at a state of minus 45 degrees. The minus 45 degree polarization will lead to another two paths at the PBS. The H part will be transmitted through the PBS, and the V part will be reflected by the PBS. So in, in the V case, we finally have we finally have a H state at the upper at the upper collimeter, and a V state at the lower collimeter, and they are entangled. So now we have a state of H1 V2. So let's now see the H case. The H polarized light went through the PBS and then is reflected into the PBKTP. After the KT PBKTP, it is down, then down converted into entangled photon pairs at 810 nanometers, which have a V state. And then after reflected by this mirror and it goes through the halfway plate, it becomes a plus 45 degrees. And then it goes through the PBS. At the PBS also, Another path is sh shows up. <clears throat> so in this case, the, the V gets reflected and the H pass through. So in this case, for the upper collimeter, we have a V state. And for the lower collimeter, we have a H state. And they're entangled. So in this case, we have a V1 H2 state. And by combining this one and the previous page, we have it a total H1 V2 plus V1 H2 divided by square root of two states. To sum up, using Minix's setup with satellite-based quantum key distribution is a hack-free, physically secure system only when the satellite is safe. But when the satellite is compromised, the entire key distribution system becomes pointless because an eavesdropper can literally send whatever key from the satellite to the ground stations without ever being noticed of his existence. An entangled upgrade eliminates these concerns by using the satellite as a distributor of entangled pair of photons instead of keys. Among the entangled photons, two locations on Earth can then make their measurements and use whatever fitting protocols at hand to exchange keys that are totally secure.